So I'm going to show you how to whip that club through impact. So you can be applying your speed to the most important part through the golf ball. That's how we're going to hit the ball further and we're going to hit better strikes as well. Because so many of you, the whipping part of your golf swing is mid downswing. So there are a couple movements that we see, and we see all the best players in the world do that whip that club going through the golf ball, is one, they have good continuous rotation through the golf shot. So their body is continually turning going through the golf ball. So you might wonder, okay, how do I get that shaft lean? How do I hold those angles so then I can apply that and whip it going through the golf ball? That is rotation. You have got to continue to turn your body going through the shot if you want to apply that speed going through the golf ball, or in other words, whip the club going through impact. So that's one. We need to get that body turning through the golf ball. But two, we need to extend our left side going through the golf ball too. Just rotating is not enough. So you can see here, I'm just rotating my body and just to see if I can really create a whip. But then if I start to extend my left side, really snap that left leg going through the golf ball as well, we're gonna see a lot more speed if I can then apply the rotation along with it. So getting that left side to extend as I'm turning. Well, that actually helps you turn as well and creates a tremendous amount of speed and whip through the golf ball. No more effort was put into that. I just extended that left side as well. Now, two drills to do to be able to get this into your golf swing. It's all well and good saying what you need to do, but we need to know actually a practical thing to go and apply that to ourselves. So, first thing, like we said, rotation. We need the rotation, because if we just had the extension portion, let's say you're doing that early, What's that? Early extension. So we want to get that rotation in there as well. So favorite rotation drill, and that's the preset rotation drill or preset impact drill to where we get into an ideal rotated impact position. So what does that look like? Hips rotated as much as I can, weight 90% on my left side, chest open as much as I can, which would be a little bit less than my hip turn. And we want that right shoulder being down towards the right hip. So that looks like a bit like this here from the down the line. And from the front on, looks a little bit like this. So rotate those hips, weight 90% on that left side, rotate the chest as much as I can, right side dropping down. Look what's naturally there. Hands are ahead of the golf ball there. The shaft lean is naturally there. So that's, it's a byproduct, guys. But as well, look what's happening here. My left leg is slightly straight, isn't it? It's extended. So that's gonna help the extension portion also, but we've got another drill for that. So again, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get into that, weight on that left side, really 90%, make sure that left leg's slightly straight, have those hips open, chest open, right side down. We're gonna start from this, this is our new setup position doing the drill, and then we're gonna swing back and swing through. So you can see how I'm just springing back, springing through again. That's gonna really get me rotating really nice and briskly going for a shot. So another one, Really, really good. It's gonna help me turning. I'm gonna feel good rotation doing that. When you look on camera as you do that, you're gonna see yourself turn really nicely. So we said there was an extension element of that. Left side being straight, but that's not the ideal drill for it in my opinion. The ideal drill is this. So I've been featuring this a lot on my channel recently, this drill, because it's awesome. And this is purely for extension, but it gets your left side going and you can hear the whip doing this drill. You can really hear the whip. So. What we want to do, we want to get this stick. We want to put this stick just about a foot or so away from us and on the toe line. So this is the toe line, the line of my toes. So what I want to do from here, I want to get this elevating up in the air as fast as I can, but doing that via extending my left side. So via straightening my left leg, or we could even say getting the left shoulder to go up and around. So you're going to see me doing that. One, it rotates me and two, the whip going through that this stick creates. I'm rotating, I'm extending. It's happening from the extension though. It's creating that whip going through the golf ball. So there we go. You could even kind of like do a makeshift backswing, downswing, get to this position there and then extend and whip through. Really good one to really feel where that power is generated in the golf swing through the golf ball. Extend that left side, making it whip up to the sky and then what do we do from there 
we grab some balls and then we do that exact same feel going through there and you can really feel that good whippy movement going through impact. If you don't have this in your golf swing, you're really not gonna hit the ball that far as well. As I put a video at the end of this, where's how I hit the ball so far as a disabled golfer with cerebral palsy. This is the move I do going through the golf ball for someone who shouldn't be hitting the ball over 300 yards, but I do because I have this in my golf swing. And so many of you, when I have be teaching you on Skillist with online lessons, I barely see anyone ever do this, ever extend that left side at the right time. It's something that I'm always teaching people to do because they've never thought about it before. And as soon as they do it, they start hitting the golf ball a hell of a lot further and a hell of a lot straighter. Because if you're adding in that rotation, like we said, that preset rotation drill, you're gonna be hitting the ball longer and straighter as well, because what use is whipping the club through the golf ball if you're not doing it straight at the same time, which is what rotation gives you from a stable square club face going through the golf ball, because that's what rotation is helping you maintain. So if you do these two drills, you will start getting that whippy movement through there. But I'm not saying do those two drills a couple of times and you'll get it. Do it for months. A lot of you so underestimate how long a swing change takes. Keep doing it. I hate it when I see YouTube comments and going, I'll give this a try. I'll try this. No, just continue to do it. Trying something won't do anything for you. Continue to do it. It's obvious stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So do these two drills and you'll be whipping the club going through the golf ball.